All right, yo, workload. What is the workload for this class? So listen, yo, it's going to take you, you know, two, three hours to complete each module. And that's watching the lecture videos, that's watching episodes, that's taking quizzes, that's writing, you know, the two weekly responses, all, all that stuff. It's going to take you a few hours. So you, you guys expect to spend 8 to 12 hours a week, roughly, um, you know, over the course of four weeks. That's just kind of that's kind of how it is. It's an accelerated course. There's a lot of shit. But, like, again, you're watching South Park. So, like, whatever. <laughs> like, whatever, you know. Like, no one feels bad for you. <laughs> Tell your friends you're in a class about South Park. They'll be like, what, what is wrong with you? Is that really a thing? Um, you know, so, um, but yeah, you know, that's about what you should be able to put into it. You have a final presentation. That's going to take you roughly five hours of planning thought, five to ten hours of planning thought to record it, post it, um, all, all that stuff. But, you know, basically we're going to be watching a lot of things. Um, but, yo, this is a summer class, right? Like, each module has a things to do before class. It has readings, it has um, watching the creator commentaries for some of the episodes we're going to watch in class. It has some out of class, you know, viewings, maybe, you know, watch an episode or two or South Park. Yo, it's summertime, yo. Like, I get it. Like, Y'all ain't going to read and watch everything. I just know that's what it is. But if you if you like the content, if you're into it, you know, watching a 23 or 24 minute episode of South Park while you read a little bit about it, you know, can't be the worst thing in the world. So just do your best for the readings and the out, out of class viewings. But all that stuff that, I, you know, that's going to be on the quizzes and all that good stuff, all the juicy stuff I talk about in the lecture video. So really just focus a lot of energy on those. Um, I'll give us a canvas tour, which takes us through the canvas, but each module will have an overview and the overview will include like sort of introduction to what we're doing that day. We'll have the slides um, for the for the for the module or that I'm going to use in the lectures. Um, and then we'll have like things to pay attention to for the quiz that are in the lecture videos. So like you can pay attention to that stuff, but I'm not going to quiz you on random shit buried in a reading or none of that. That's super duper mean. Um, so everything that will be on the quizzes will be talked about, but the, but this is, you know, this is a, you know, almost a 400 level class, like, and yeah, it's about South Park. We talk about shitting and farting and, and, and all that stuff quite a bit. We talk about censorship, you know, we talk about all these things quite, quite, quite a bit, you know, but, um, you know, you still have to be able to think and there's still, you know, I have high academic expectations. Out. We're not just eating pizza and getting high and watching South Park. You can do that, but you have to then think critically about, about it. All right. Um, yo, so, uh, how am I going to grade y'all in this? Um, the point, you know, it's very simple, you know, this is how we're going to roll here. Um, you're going to have quizzes. The quizzes are worth a shit ton of your grade. So really be focused on they're worth 50% of your grade. Um, okay, so be mindful of that. You have module responses. You have eight of those total. Those are worth 10% of your grade. And they're very short and, you know, brief. And then you have a final presentation, which is worth 40% of your grade. So that's kind of how the... The cookie crumbles, uh, so to speak. But the quizzes have quite a lot of, of value. Um, you know, a hot, a hot thing for me right here, and I just got to throw this out there. I don't give A pluses, and I don't give 100s. But I guess you can kind of get 100s in some ways. But typically, I don't give them out. Um, but A pluses, I don't give them out. Just anybody who's had a class with me, you know, y'all are in college. You know what I mean? Uh, an A plus. You know, y'all are on a 4.0 scale. An A-plus is like a 4.3. It's above the scale. It's, it's just juvenile to me. It doesn't make no sense. How can you get above the scale? It, I, I don't know. It's a, you know, a gold star for not crapping in your pants during class thing to me. So I don't give them out A-pluses, but an A is a fantastic grade. Um, and so, you know, 
Go for it. Get that 99. Get that A. But you ain't getting no A+. Plus. Your GPA, for y'all nerds out there, y'all GPAs are going to go down to 4.22. Um, everything's on Canvas. You know, check the Canvas tour if you need it. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything's on the Canvas. Okay. Um, so we'll talk about the assignments real brief. Um, you know what I mean? All right. So, first off, I don't accept late shit. Like, I don't do it. I just don't do it. So, like, be on point for that. Most everything is due on Sunday nights. Sunday, 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 okay? It is a major pain in the ass for me to go in and dink around and set ex de dates and change shit. And, oh, I, I forgot. And, blah, blah, blah. like, you know, be mindful of your time, yo. Um, you know, just because, you know, it's just a pain to go in, into the things and reset shit so just be mindful <laughs> and it sounds like i'm like being real lazy here but you know um just i don't accept late shit just budget your time okay all right so quizzes these are worth 50 percent of your grade they're due every sunday by 11 59 any time after 11 59 the carriage turns back to a pumpkin y'all uh you know Jordan's turn back to crusty slippers, you know, uh, Mogwai's turn into gremlins if they eat. Um, Y'all probably don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about with that reference, but G gremlins, the movie anyways. Um, so things to do Sunday by midnight, okay? All your quizzes, um, uh, you know, they're going to be 10 to 20 multiple choice questions. Wink, hint, nudge. I like the uh, the questions that are all of the above or all but are usually sometimes the answers so that's something to think about uh i dropped the five lowest quiz scores so there's like i don't know 16 or 17 quizzes um and i dropped the five lowest ones so but mind you as you take them that they they're automatically dropping so like you could take six quizzes and fail all of them <clears throat> but get a hundred on one of them or 99 on one of them right and it would show your overall quiz grade is a 99 you'd be feeling real nice about yourself until you start taking more quizzes and then you know and then and then your gpa changes so just be mindful that they're automatically dropping your lowest your lowest quizzes are automatically dropping off there so don't get too smug smelling your own farts um that's a south park reference um yeah, uh, but yeah, don't take quizzes on your phone. I know I already said that, all right? And if you have a technical issue or a question on a quiz, like I said, you can send me a, a screenshot or a text message. I can't guarantee, like, I'm going to answer it, but I, if I have my phone on me and I'm not on a ladder or not doing some crazy shit with my tractor, um, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll respond. You have two module responses per week. There's short prompts. They're very basic, very simple. Uh, under one page, just respond to something from, you know, choose uh, two out of the four modules and you can, you know, write a response. It's very, it, the response uh, is literally, like, or the prompts are the same, so, so whatever. Um, and just be mindful that they do Sunday at 11.59 and they're 10% uh, of your grade. And then this is due uh, at the uh, end of the term, um, and this is a final presentation. So basically, you're going to do a video presentation. You're going to prepare slides. You're going to um, do video. I need to be able to see or hear you, so you can use Panopto or Zoom, but you're going to upload it through Panopto to Canvas. Um, and um, yeah, you're going to choose an episode. We don't talk about in class or an angle on an episode maybe that we don't talk about in class um you you can choose a topic um you know that we talk about in class but look at a different episode or so anything like it just you basically need to think about what you want to talk about you could talk about race and racism you could talk about the vaccine episode um you know like the act the actual not the covid vaccine episode but the um the child vaccination episode where they're chasing around cartman and it's pretty funny um you could choose sports you could choose um anything you know really and you could 
consumerism, anything. You just have to pick a topic or an episode, you know, something that we don't really cover necessarily in class. And you'll do a six to eight minute video presentation. Again, I need to see you. I need to hear you. Don't, I just don't want your boring ass slides. <laughs> I want your boring ass slides with you. Okay. Um, uh, you'll have a proposal due for this at the end of week two. So you'll send a proposal to me. I will read through it, give you a little feedback. Just make sure you're on point, you know, that things are good for you, um, that you actually have an idea what you're doing. Now, the thing is with this, you can click on the link um, here on the syllabus to final presentation and you can read the actual assignment description. <clears throat> Yo. Everything is in the assignment description that you need to know to complete the assignment. I even put an example of a great student presentation from the past so you can see what I think is awesome or, or whatever. I get questions all the damn time about shit that's in the assignment description. Come on, son. Just read, yo. If you ask me something like that, I'll say read the assignment description and then hit me up if you still have questions. All right. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, but yeah, you will give me a, a short proposal as a PDF, uh, you know, one paragraph, two paragraphs, or if you're feeling fancy, an outline, um, which is due at the end of week two.